Hello guys, ZT99 here. Yes, I look different. I'm absolutely in tatters. The season's put existential dread on me. But here we go. NRL round 16 tips and predictions. Oh boy. I don't know what's going to happen, but let's just get into it. First up on Thursday, it is Manly against Melbourne. Of course, we all know back in 2011. Oh, remember when youth was... Uh, was prevalent in our age, and now it's just slipped through our fingers. Well, probably not if you're young now, but for those who go, basically, 2011, very infamous moment in modern rugby league. Obviously, it was uh, it was the Adam Blair uh, George Stewart incident, which uh, an all-out brawl. They both get sim bin, and then they brawl again on their way to the sim bin. Major chaos. The game. Ever illustriously known as the Battle of Brookvale. Obviously, it's not called Brookvale anymore. It's called Four Pines Park. And I don't think it has probably the same ring to it if they rename it as the Battle of Four Pines Park. It's a bit silly. But so coming into this game, Manly are definitely are starting to get on some... Uh, on a... On some level of form. I mean, obviously, their last game was against the Cowboys. They had a really good second half showing. And then... Uh, well, the, uh, yeah, the Cowboys happened. Uh, Melbourne, I mean, Melbourne's still one of the top teams in the NRL. Uh, I do think this match will actually be relatively close, but I do think that Melbourne should be able to hang on here. It should be, they should be able to win by probably like, I don't know, like 14 or something like that. Just something along those lines. Now we move on to the first game on Friday, and ladies and gentlemen... Spoon Bowl 1, ladies. Let's go. We've got two Spoon Bowl games this weekend. Years are spoiled. So, of course, it is the Newcastle Knights up against the Gold Coast Titans. Now, the Titans are dead last. The Knights are somehow 12th still. Like, how? <laughs> how are the Knights 12th place? Obviously, uh, the, the Knights are coming off their... Um, their fumbling of of another potential fade uh, against Canberra when Hudson Young scored in the uh, 78th minute. And the Titans did actually have a decent showing against Cronulla, but unfortunately Cronulla were just able to get over the line. Um, I'll tell you what, it's very hard to say what's going to happen in this game. Like, usually the Knights-Titans matches are usually very uh, competitive. I would like to see the Knights win, in all honesty, because I am a Knights fan. But I honestly would not be shocked if we lose to the Titans. Don't let the, the, the odds fool you. But um, for a bit of reverse psychology, I'm going to say that the Gold Coast Titans are going to win. You know, so it doesn't happen because I don't go away from, from my fucking tips because God won't allow me to be that powerful. So now we go into the second game on Friday, or well, the final game on Friday. It is the Penrith Panthers up against the Sydney Roosters now. I don't think we really need to go into that much introduction about what Penrith are currently going on at the moment. The Roosters are they're in they're in that lull of one of the teams like South Sydney, uh, Parramatta, and Cronulla, where you just have no idea what team is going to show up. So, I mean, the Roosters might go okay. It might be somewhat close, but I mean, it's a Penrith Stadium, so I mean, Penrith are going to be winning this game. But I don't think it's going to be that much of a shock. Now we go into Saturday, the first game on Saturday. It is the Canterbury Bulldogs against the Cronulla Sharks. Now, Cronulla, don't like, be Cronulla fool you. Yes, they are on the top four, but they haven't been relatively consistent. I mean, they have gotten a couple of wins, but it hasn't been like full on like beltings. Like when they played the Titans, they were very lackluster and only just got over the line. Uh, the Bulldogs, though, are opposite end of form. They beat Parramatta, they belted Parramatta, and they've belted the Tigers. So, the uh, stocks are rising for the uh, the Canterbury Bulldogs. And with this current form at the moment, and the fact that Burton just had an absolute blinder uh, for the Blues, so it's pretty much a full-strength uh, It's very much a full strength Bulldogs team. I think it's also against the full-strength Cronulla team. So, it should be very interesting, to say the least. For this being at com it being a Bulldogs home game, I'm going to go very bold. I'm calling the Canterbury Bulldogs will beat the Cronulla Sharks. I think Cronulla just been a bit too inconsistent in terms of how their matches are going, and I think 
if they do slip up in a performance like they did against the Titans, the Bulldogs are going to be one of those teams that actually will punish them and actually make them lose. So I, I, I'm expecting the Bulldogs to uh, to make a bit of an upset. That would actually probably be the, one of the biggest upsets, actually. But anyways, now we go into the second game on on the Saturday. It is the Queensland Derby, the 4X, fuck, 4X Derby. <laughs> As the North Queensland Cowboys take on the Brisbane Broncos to once again fight for which team is the best in Queensland. So, obviously in the reverse fixture, Cowboys handily got a good win. I mean, the Cowboys had a fantastic win against uh, Manly. They did. It, all hope was lost, but then somehow the Cowboys turned it around and got an absolute monster of a win. Uh, Brisbane, um... They're also very much up there as well. They did suffer a, re a loss last week, but, uh, I mean, what can you do? I think it's going to be a, uh, a very good game. Obviously, being in Cowboys territory, I'm going to give the edge to the North Queensland Cowboys. I think the Cowboys will be very much continuing their, uh, their stay in the top four. Obviously, pretty much Brisbane will be fighting for a top four spot as well. So this should be, obviously, be match of the round. Now we go into the final game on Saturday. It is the South Sydney Rabbitohs hosting the Parramatta Eels. Now, this game is very hard to predict because you just don't know what Parramatta are going to be like. I know Parramatta did have a um, an actual a good solid uh, win last week, but it's just you, you don't you don't know what's going to happen in these like sorts of situations because like like South Sydney are just. The South Sydney are just weird. Parramatta and South Sydney are just... You don't know what's going to happen in these uh, in these matches because both teams have been relatively inconsistent. Like, for, for, like South Sydney and Parramatta, like, they just would play well at some matches but then play, don't play well in others. I know there is potentially a few Rabbitohs players that could be out because of the Origin game on Sunday. So I'm actually going to give the, uh, the win here to Parramatta. I know Paramount have a bit of a shaky um, record um, against against teams when they're the away team at a core stadium. I mean, the Bulldogs are very much reminder them of that, but I do think Paramount should be able to get the win against the Rabbitohs so they can really push to try to solidify themselves as a, as a top six team. Now we go to Sunday, and the first game on Sunday, it is finally... The New Zealand homecoming for the Warriors as they host the West Tigers at Mount Smart Stadium. Finally, you get to say that stadium name. It, obviously, there's going to be a lot of emotion into this game. Warriors have actually been actually fairly decent in the last couple of games. I mean, I thought their game against Penrith was their best performance, but obviously, what Penrith do is, is they put on absolute monster points in the last... Like 10, 15 minutes of a game to make the game just feel like an absolute blowout, which doesn't reflect on what actually happened. They've done that a lot, but um, yeah, against against the Tigers, the Tigers are an absolute strain. I mean, uh, the club is just making enemies left, right, and centre from like their fan base to podcast owners. It's just, it's just not it's just not great. Um, so that's why I feel for this game because of the occasion, because of the um. Because of the atmosphere that's going to happen, I am predicting the New Zealand Warriors will be winning this game. I mean, it would be the perfect match for them to to uh, to break their losing streak. And now we go to the final game on the on this round. It is the St George Illawarra Dragons up against the Canberra Raiders. A very interesting game as both teams currently in that um you know that five team buffer of t of trying to fight for the finals, which kind of has happened for the last couple of years. But um. Obviously, Canberra did get a win against the Knights, but I feel like it was the Knights getting in the way of the Knights for uh, for Canberra to take the win. And St George have actually been arguably one of the best, arguably one of the better teams in the NRL with the way they're currently uh, going. Obviously, you've had a few few uh, Dragons players in Origin. Obviously, Ben Hunt being one of them. So hopefully, he's okay. I mean, he should be all right. It's about a week. I don't think. I mean, to be fair, he didn't do much in that Origin game. But in fairness, a lot of the Queensland players didn't do much in that game. But um, in this game, being at Wynn Stadium, which has been very much a, uh, a good, solid um, uh, home say, home uh, winning streak for the, uh, the Dragons, I'm going to give this win to the Dragons. So the Dragons can continue to solidify themselves in what I believe they will make the top eight.
So yeah, there's a few matches that are going to be very interesting and contentious about what may happen. Do you guys disagree? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, thank you very much all for watching, and I will see you all later.